Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Kathy at Attic Treasures Etc. And I've been wanting to do this video for a while, but um, as you may know from my last video, my husband and I got COVID and so everything was sort of on hold for a while. So today is the day I want to um, show how to make a pocket like this, a little corset pocket with a zipper. And this one is a steampunk theme. I'm not going to do the steampunk theme again, but um, basically all I did to create this was to die cut some of these gears out of uh, like a, a heavier scrapbook paper and then I glued them on and then I painted it with acrylic paint and then went over each one of the gears with some um, some of that Gilder's Paste Wax to highlight them and make them stand out. But today what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the uh, craft style envelope again. And I'm going to be using this napkin to cover it and some music sheet to create uh, the little indents here on either side. And I have a zipper. The zipper part is actually about six inches but with the tape and everything it's a little bit longer um, and you can find zippers at thrift stores and stuff like that you don't need to go out and buy a brand new zipper but one thing that you can do if you have zippers on hand that, that aren't designated to a specific project you can take a zipper and run it you know for the length that you want and then just run the sewing machine over it a couple of times and then you can cut off the excess but I just, uh, I have this one, so this is the one that I'm going to use. And I have some trim here. This is just some silver trim, and I went over it with um, some alcohol inks just to kind of give it a more burnished effect. And I have a little charm that I want to put on the zipper, and it kind of matches that, that trim. And then I have uh, some flowers that I die cut out of the... Um, alcohol ink backgrounds that I did on um, photo paper. So we're going to be using probably not all of these, but some of them anyway to decorate. Okay, so to get started, oh, and I also have a little template that I made because these are a lot of fun to make and, and this one I, I just, you know, freehanded it. I just kind of eyeballed how I wanted it to be but I really like the shape and the size, so I went ahead and made a template out of some cardstock, just from scrapbook paper, some really ugly scrapbook paper. <laughs> and then that way I have it on hand. But you can certainly just eyeball this, just like I did on the last few that I've made. So I'm gonna set this aside, and then we're gonna go ahead and get started. And the first thing I wanna do is to cut down the craft envelope to about seven inches. Well, actually, I'm going to um, glue it shut with some glue stick here. Let me get this out of the way. I'm just going to glue it shut. And then I'm going to cut it down to about 7 inches. This can be used as a pocket, so I'm going to set that aside for a future project. <clears throat> and then I'm also going to uh, just slice off a little bit of one edge, just to make it easier to work with. And just a little cat's whisker. Just a tiny bit. Just enough to make it so I can open it up flat. And this edge too. Okay, so the easiest way to do this is just to take your napkin and make sure that you have only one ply. And I think I, I've got it down to one ply, but yeah, this is just one ply. So you I'm gonna spread out my wax paper here as a backer. And then I am simply going to cover this with some Distress Collage Medium. You can use Mod Podge. A brand new jar. I'm going to uh, 
trim off most of the excess. Just leave a little bit of a border so I can lift some up if I need to. And you can see it's lifting up here, so I'll just add some more collage medium. It tends to dry pretty fast on the edges, and that looks pretty good. Looks like I've got everything covered and now I'm going to put a coat on top as well. Okay, so I have a top coat of the collage medium on, on the uh, top of the napkin now. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it over and dry it with my heat tool. And then we can get on to the next step. Okay, so I'm really happy with the way this looks so far. So now what I want to do is take my template and lay it on here and if you don't have a template what I what I've done before is to um, just find the center of the pocket uh, the best you can and then I just go right straight down the middle for my for the upper curve and then for the lower and you can the other thing that you can do too is just leave the bottom flat so that you can uh, put a pocket in all the way. Otherwise, if you want the angle here, I mean, put the tag in all the way, you can just um, glue it, glue this part closed so that the, the tag will only go down to here. And that's, that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to use my template, and again, this is super easy just to to eyeball. You don't really need to use a template like this. And I'm just going to draw the top curve. And the sides. And then I'm going to bring this down to a point. So I'm just going to uh, make a little mark there, and then one in the center. And then simply connect them. like that. Now I don't want to cut through the back part of the envelope for the top, so I'm just going to open it out this way and cut along that curved line. I should have just drawn it on the other side, it might have been easier. Note to self, draw it on the other side. Okay, there we go. Now, the next part is super simple. You just, you're just going to cut it straight down through the center like that so that you have two halves. And at this point, we can attach the zipper. So we're going to start on one side like that. All we're going to do is glue uh, the pocket part onto the, onto the zipper. And I'm going to use Fabri-Tac for this. You can use, uh, you know, double-sided tape probably as well. And you want to get right up against the, the coil. Because this isn't really going to be a functioning zipper. It just looks cool. You could make it so that it opens and closes, and it will, but it's, does, there's really no point in it doing that. It's just decorative. See? So easy. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. 
really these these couldn't be any easier I made a motorcycle jacket uh, with a with a zipper a motorcycle jacket pocket um, when I first started making junk journals I was making them for friends and I have a real good friend that I've known forever and uh, she and I well she still rides her motorcycle um, I don't ride anymore but uh, she does and so her her junk journal was motorcycle themed so if I can find that picture I will um, put it up here in the video so you can see what it looked like because it came out super cute I loved it now this is the only tricky part about this is that you want it to be even with the other side of the corset otherwise it's not tricky at all so, and then you just trim it off. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry for a little while before I work more on it because we still have more to do. Um, and I will be right back. So now that this is nice and dry, we can uh, start embellishing it further. And I'm going to take the negatives of the pieces that I cut out, or the pieces that I cut out of this, uh, this shape here, and use that to um, cut some of this music sheet to fit in here, just to kind of give it a delineation there. So I'm just going to basically just cut around. It doesn't have to be exact because I can always trim it. Okay, so um, as I was saying, I, I just want to glue these on just to kind of give a delineation of her shape. And I think I'm going to use Fabri-Tac for this just because it's going on. Well, actually, I think our glitter glue will work just fine. I think on the last corset that I made, all I did was, all I did was take uh, some vintage photo uh, distress ink and just kind of shade that area in. But I also like having having a different uh, piece of you know different kind of paper there, just for a little bit more interest. Okay, so that's good. And I have this trim. It's just a gold or a silver trim, and I use some alcohol ink just to kind of burnish it a little bit. So I'm just gonna uh, make a line with my glue from the top, just kind of the center right there, down to where the zipper is. And of course you can embellish these any way you like. Okay, so now what I would like to do is to take some of these flowers and scatter them around in different places just uh, for fun. And I think I'm going to give them a little bit of dimension. Before I do that though, why don't we go ahead and uh, put the, the little charm on, on the zipper pull.
and I want to give these uh, flowers a little bit of dimension, so I'm going to use my Sizzix Shaper. Just so they uh, stand up a little bit. So I've got some Gilder's Paste Wax here, and I'm just going to just put some on the edges of these flowers. This is burnished gold or antique gold, antique gold. I like the way these flowers go with the colors in the napkin. Oh, I'm loving this so far. I can just open it up. Okay, there we go. I think though that it would be really cute to have some little flat back pearls in the centers of these flowers. Oh yeah. So I love the way this has turned out. I hope you do too. And what you can do next is to take some card, and I, I don't want to do that right now because I want to make sure that everything is totally dry, but just to take some um, cardstock and glue it to the back of this part. And you can, if you want, you can just, oh, hello, flower. <laughs> you can slice this part off and then kind of center it and glue it on. Um, and then that way it's all one piece. And why don't we just do that now? So definitely I could have just cut this part off in the very beginning um, and you know, just work with the with the front part, and that would have been totally fine. So what I'm going to do is just glue this to the back. Now you've got a nice solid surface to glue onto your page. You can trim this little piece out too if you want to. Um, I think I will leave it and maybe put a little thumb hole in there so that. Uh, when you're putting a tag behind it, you know to go behind this part here. But anyway, I just think that came out really, really cute. I hope you liked it. It's um, super easy. I mean, when I first thought about putting a zipper in a pocket, I thought it had to be really complicated. But then when I actually did it, I thought, oh, that, that was really simple. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you liked the way it turned out. I know I did, and I'm looking forward to using it in future journals. So um, if you like this, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment, please. I just, I re they really make my day, so I, I really enjoy that. If you have any questions, um, please let me know in the comments. So have a wonderful day, everybody. Let the serendipity find you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye, everybody.